hello people how is everybody doing welcome to the channel it simplified and today's video i'll show you how to deploy elastic pool within sql databases service from azure portal so let's start on the left side of the screen pick sql database go to create sql database and start by giving the name for your database i'm going to name it db1 if you don't have a resource group create one and it will be a blank database and go to configure sql database server setting it has to be a unique name i'll name it it simplified and give the credential for the person who will be managing this elastic pool select your preferred location And uh, in this uh, settings, you need to pick that uh, you'll be deploying an elastic pool. So yes, I want to deploy that. And let's configure the settings for elastic pool. So it will be a new deployment. And let's give the name for the elastic pool. I'm gonna name it EP, which is short form for elastic pool. And uh, then you have to choose from different tiers. So uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, you have the option of choosing from EDTUs or E elastic database transactional unit or you can go a v core purchasing option so these are the two options that you can utilize for this demonstration i'll be picking basic in uh, ed dtu's option but just for your information you also have the standard and the premium and uh, if you want you can always increase the edtu number and that will increase the uh, storage size also so depending upon what your needs are, you can always increase or decrease this. I will keep this to the basic and go to apply and go to select and click on create. So if I expand the notification tab, you will see that the deployment is in progress in uh, the Toronto region, which, has, which is our preferred location. So it will take some time, so just wait for a moment. But in the meantime, let me just uh, give you a little bit information about the Elastic Pool. So as I have also mentioned in my previous videos that uh, there are a couple of ways you can uh, deploy database as a service, you can go single database you can go elastic pool or you can go manage instance in this case you're talking about elastic pool so what elastic pool is basically is a combination of your cpu ram and storage depending upon what tier you will choose and uh, a lot of isvs they have uh, multiple database uh, in the environment they don't want to manage that uh, uh, one by one. So what they want to do is maybe they want to deploy this in a in a pool and whenever there is a peak You can share these resources whether you CPU RAM and storage. The good thing about this option is that uh, It doesn't go by how many databases you want to deploy. So in this case, for example, I have a database databases If you deploy the ninth one, it won't matter because I have a pool of resources, right? to choose from which is basically EDTUs which combines the storage, the RAM, CPU, and obviously, if I run short of in any of these categories, which I can utilize the built-in business intelligence within Elastic uh, uh, Pool, I can always uh, I can move up and down and go to different tiers. I can go from uh, basic, I can go to standard, I can go to premium. So that option is always there. But the idea over here is that rather than managing each database uh, separately, I can provide a pool and as there is a demand for uh, peaks and uh, low time, I can uh, automatically manage that uh, within the console. So that is what uh, the use case scenario for uh, Elastic Pool is. So let me just flip over to my Azure portal.
So if I go to my resource group, you see that uh, our SQL Server is IT simplified. My uh, database is uh, DB1, and the name of my Elastic Pool is Elastic Pool. So let's go inside the SQL Server because I want to connect this using SQL Server Management Studio. And for that, I have to go under Firewall and Virtual Network and add my client IP basically so the uh, public facing IP of my computer that I'm using to connect and save this. Okay, so it has successfully updated the firewall rule settings. So I can come out of this and uh, let's try to connect by using SQL Server Management Studio. But before I do that, let me just go to the property So go under my resource group, go to the SQL Server, and uh, if I go under Properties, this is what I want to copy. That's the name of my server, which is deployed in the background. And I'll plug this into my SQL Server Management Studio. I will use SQL Server Authentication, provide the appropriate credential. Let's try to connect. So it is asking me, your client IP address does not have access to the server. Sign in to Azure account and create a new firewall rule to enable access. So let me just go and sign in. Go to OK. If you want, if you have a subnet range, you can also add that. Uh, so the whole IP addresses in that subnet range uh, will be able to access this uh, SQL database elastic pool which you deployed in Azure. So if I expand my databases, you will see this is the database uh, DB1 that we created while deploying this elastic pool. So let's do this way. Let me go to my Azure portal. And uh, let's expand the elastic pool. And you can see that uh, under overview, I have the resource utilization. So how these resources are being used. The maximum size in this uh, tier I have is 4.88 gig. But as I said that, you can always change that. I can also go to activity log. And see what has happened. I can go to database resource utilization and see if there's been any activity. And as you can see that there's only one database that we have uh, so far uh, in this uh, Elastic Pool, but uh, you can, you can uh, add as many databases you want as long as you're within that uh, storage. I'm just showing you the different options that I have to play around in this. Okay, so let's do this way. Uh, since we created one database with the name DB1, I'll create another database. So let's go to create database in my Elastic Pool and I'll name this DB2. It will be a blank database. It will be in the IT Simplified Server. It is all, all automatically using the Elastic Pool that we have deployed this in, which is basic and go to OK. And the deployment uh, is in progress now. The deployment was successful. Now, if I refresh, you'll see that DB2 has appeared over here. 
Now same thing if I go to my SQL Server Management Studio and if I refresh, I should see another database with the name DB2. Okay, so here you see that uh, I have uh, two databases, DB1 and DB2, and uh, Microsoft Azure makes it really simple if you're into the kind of scenario, as I mentioned, that if you're into ISVs and you have to have um, multiple databases, uh, you can deploy that with an elastic pool, and as and when during certain time of the year or certain months, there is a certain peak or uh, a, a drop in the utilization, you can manage this as a pool rather than managing as a single database. I hope you found this video on Elastic Pool in SQL Database as a service useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.